Hey, hey what's, what's up, you guys? guys? It's Courtney Fierce here and Danny Fierce. And welcome back to our channel. Just kidding. It's my channel, but it's now yours. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> In today's video, we're going to be doing a Tim Hortons holiday drink taste test. So if you guys want to keep watching this shitty ass video, then wait for the next two seconds. Um, and before you go, what should they do? Like, subscribe. There we go. Okay, so the first drink that we're going to be doing is a gingerbread latte. Ooh, my hand's getting cold. This is G-L-A-T. Yeah, gingerbread latte. Oh. Smell, it's worse than the other one. I might not even want the cover, because we don't want a big drink. <laughs> we want a little tiny. Oh, hell no. It's like straight up coffee. You guys, yeah, you guys can kind of see. I don't know what to tell you. Hey, what was this? Oh, cream? Whipped cream, probably. Is it hot? Mm mm. Good. I mean, it has a coffee taste. I don't like Tim Hortons coffee, but it's not as bad as those two. We filmed yeah. another video. It will be linked down below when it's available because it will be posting up next week, but we filmed a Starbucks holiday drink video. So get excited for that because that's next week's. It's going up next Friday, actually. And this one's going up today, which is Friday. <laughs> I feel like one of those Tim's drinkers that sits inside and they just sip their coffee really like... This is like a oh true Canadian God, legend, is... but you guys in New York have this. What? This is what? This is literally like old people. They yeah, literally they sit in the just car sit. Too. No, most of them just sit in the dining room for like five hours at a time. This is literally what we do in Canada. <laughs> like this is all there is to do. Accurate. Like it's not bad. Like take like three drinks because that's what I did. Like the third drink was better. Right? It's not awful. Like, I was kind of confused. It kind of is more like a like a French vanilla kind of mm -hmm. taste. Yeah. It, like, isn't bad. It's not good. Yeah, what do you think you'd rate it? Like a six, like the caramel brulee? Yeah. Yeah? Don't get me wrong, I would never drink this on my no, own. No, and never drink the full fuck. thing. Because there's so much. <laughs> And, like, apparently this one doesn't come in a small. So if you guys are in Canada and you're ordering a gingerbread latte, it doesn't come in a small. So you have to have, like, the big one. I don't know why. Like, they could have, like, easily just poured the shit into a smaller cup. And, like, not made us, like, look like fat asses. She, she wanted to realize... do it. Yeah. I was like, she do you not realize do where we are? <laughs> um, so, yeah, this one's, like, a six. Yeah. A six? I can go with, can go with the six. It's, like, good. Um, if you guys, like... French Fidel's, then get this. But, um, it honestly looks like pimple popped. It's kind of like green and oh yeah, I can see that. Yeah, right. Like the pussy part where it's like kind of like green pus. Ew, with you like have the red green blood. Pus? <laughs> That's gross. You should probably get that checked. <laughs> no, but I watched the Doctor Pimple Popper with like Lexi back in the day. Oh my god, I so have it actually what, recorded. What is this? like called again candy cane yeah but like is it oh white yeah hot white, chocolate. white hot chocolate yeah because we decided that chocolate was just too basic so white hot chocolate it is let's get real white hot chocolate is a lot more of a basic bitch than regular hot chocolate i've never heard anyone get white hot chocolate though i get them all the time i guess i'm not that basic then because i've never got one in my life that's what you just revealed not basic in this video <laughs> Today only. What do you think? My belly kind of hurts already. <laughs> We're literally gonna go shit after this. <laughs> Remember the other day with the nachos? It looks like a little oh shit. Oh my god. Let's <laughs> <That's laughs> <us> after this. <laughs> Can I at least eat before he <laughs> shits? <laughs> no. A little on the sweeter side. This is not good. <laughs> it's not terrible. It tastes like icing. 
That's because that's essentially what that is. No, but like the drink part tastes like icing. Have you never had a white hot chocolate? Uh uh. Oh, girl, you like, don't know what you're missing. Like white chocolate's my favorite thing, but like white hot chocolate, like no. Um. So yeah, what would you rate this one? I could totally get that again and actually drink. Are you gonna keep this one? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm gonna say that like the other one was like a six, and to me this is like a four or five. Like it's not as good as that gingerbread latte, but I like coffee, so. Yeah, I think it tastes like horse piss. Like so, that one was a six. So what are you gonna rate that one then? Oh, this one's like an eight. Really? I could actually drink this again. Wow. Okay. Are you gonna drink the full thing? Like, would you Maybe. recommend them to get a small, or do you think it's too sweet? It's a little on the sweeter side, but you know. Yeah. And this last one here, our last and final drink for the video is a gingerbread ice cap. Ice cap is like the most like popular drink, I believe, at Tim Hortons besides like a double double. Wait, don't drink it yet. I was going to explain what it was, but never mind. Um, an ice <laughs> cap basically is like a frozen coffee and clearly not good with, with gingerbread flavoring. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Ten. This tastes like the pumpkin spice on. Oh, fuck. This is so good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know what I got a taste of, but... Taste again. Oh, the second drink was even better. Mmm. I'm keeping that one. That one is a lot better once you... This one's a lot better once you drink it a little bit, but then it has, like, a really gross aftertaste. Yeah. Yeah. That one's a ten for me. What are you gonna rate it? It tastes so good. Like, it doesn't really have that much of a coffee flavor until afterwards. I'm lactose intolerant, so that's gonna hate me if I drink one, so... Yeah. I, that's what I do if I get one. Oh, I'm surprised that you get one. She, like, hates coffee with a passion. I do, but and everyone's And then me, like, ever since need... that Starbucks video that we did, I've literally fucking loved coffee, and it's kind of an <laughs> issue. Like, I'm literally, like, an addict. I'm like... <laughs> Like, where is it? Like, caramel macchiatos are my fucking, like, shit now. Like, I get one at least a week. Ew. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I even have, like, caramel, like, macchiato-like stuff in my, like, cupboards at home so that I can make my own at home. Yeah. You addicted. Yeah, with, like, caramel creamer so that it's, like, even more, like, and I'm like, oh. And then I sit there and I sit in my chair, like, late at night, like, trying to record these videos and edit. And I'm like, oh. So. Probably, like, a seven. Seven or eight? Okay, well, mine's a ten. Wait, what do you think the flavoring of the top is, though? Like, let's taste it. Taste it. It ain't it. I shouldn't have got you to take that big of a bite. <laughs> oh, man. Tastes like dollar store. Like, what dollar store smells like that. Um, so, um, that's everything for our Tim Hortons video. If you guys are in Canada or in New York City, definitely stop at your local Tim Hortons and get all three of these and try all of them because I would honestly recommend all of them. They are actually pretty decent, well-rounded. Yeah, definitely. So, if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And as Danielle said at the beginning, subscribe down below to be a part of the Fierce family. I make new videos every single Fierce Friday and Saturday. I love you guys all so much. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, you guys.